Good morning, Nibs. How are you today? Um, yeah, good morning. I, I went to class. I don't know. Anyway, I remembered as I was trying to clean up this mess. As I was trying to clean this up, I found this, which I bought at the Asian food store before, oh well, before I we went to, um, where did we go? Oktoberfest. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Uh, how did I forget? So I bought this, hoping that it was moon cake, right? Because, remember, I really like moon cakes. And I figured that the Asian store might have them, since it's like, autumn festival time. I'm in the sun. Hold on, let me get in the shade. There we go. Hoping that, you know, they might have them being autumn festival time and all in China. And they didn't really have them. But they had this, which they showed me. Um... I told them, I was like, Torta di Luna, and they're like, we well, don't know what you're talking about. And then I showed them a picture, and like, ah, it's this. Which doesn't really look like it. But it's called a, a Pia cake? Pia? P-I-A? Pia? Pia? I'm not sure. And, well, it's Vietnamese, from what I can tell. And the thing that worries me is that listed in the ingredients is a uh, durian. Now, if no one has experienced durian before, well... Yeah, it's quite an experience. Um, from what I can, I mean, I've had, I guess, I haven't had fresh durian, but I've tasted, um, tasted it before, and it basically does taste like onions. It's this fruit, and it's spiky, and it looks kind of like jackfruit, but it's like jackfruit's evil twin brother or something. It smells, and it's definitely an acquired taste. I know people who love it, but it's an acquired taste, and if you don't, if you don't have it, it just tastes gross. And, but I didn't open the, this package. Because, I don't know, I think it kind of smells, and I'm afraid, I'm afraid I'm going to, like, be overwhelmed by the durian and just not know how to handle it. But let's see, I think I will brave the smell. It definitely has durian in it. Ah, oh, it smells like onions. I love onions, but, I, man, paid for this. Oh, no, I can't even, this is going outside. This can't even stay in the house. Oh, Jesus, no. I don't even want to, oh, man, I don't even want to take a bite of this. Should I, should I, should I try this? I am so afraid that this is going to end badly. Why am I doing this? Oh, man, the, like, more you open the packet, the stronger. I should do this outside. Oh, my goodness, I thought it was going to stick up everything. The smell, oh, is that egg? Oh god, I can't, I can't. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> I can't do this. Uh -uh. I'm sweating. Oh god. <sighs> Polly, don't watch. I know you don't like vomiting stuff. Polly, don't watch this. Uh, don't watch, just put, or put the volume down or something. Just don't. I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't. Oh shit. Oh god, I just... <laughs> I'm so afraid of it! No, uh-uh. As a non durian eater, that is rank. I, I that is just nasty. If you don't have a taste for it, it is nasty, right? Well, okay, maybe it's not nasty. It does taste like onions, and that's, onions aren't nasty, but it's just a little too overpowering. It is so wow. Never buy anything with durian in the ingredients list. Jesus Christ. All right, guys. Well, I'm about to go to bed. 
it's late. Just got back from babysitting, so I am about to go to bed. I'm super tired. Um, but I don't know. For some reason, I felt like on a more serious note to talk about something. Um, I think yesterday, the day before, um, the Amanda Knox trial or appeal, tenth bazillionth appeal, um, ended, and she was what was. What is it called? Acquitted of all charges? Or I don't know. She was no longer said that she murdered her roommate, um, the English girl. But whatever. I don't know. I wasn't. I didn't follow the trial like at all. But I know it was happening. And the reason I'm talking about this is I don't know. It, it happened. Like the the murder happened a year before I came to study here, and it was just kind of something that, you know, you think about not, I mean, you know, just living abroad in a different country, how you don't necessarily know all the rules here, like everyone is, I mean, sure, the rule everywhere is you don't kill anybody, yeah, okay, I know that, but, like, the legal systems and stuff, you don't really know how it's gonna work out, it's just, it's just something to think about that whenever you're traveling that you don't, you don't know all the rules and you don't know how things happen, you know, or, I don't know how to put this, you don't know how people, society, might react to whatever you're doing. I'm not saying, you know, when you kill your roommate, you should know, no, no, I'm not talking about anything that serious, because that's quite a serious thing, but, you know, when you're traveling, um, you may think that the rules are the same from, you know, where you live to where you're going, but that's not necessarily valid. I guess what I wanted to say is that if you ever travel abroad, especially for a long period of time, and you're, you know, doing stuff more than just as a tourist, you just be careful. And be courteous, I guess, to, you know, just respect the rules, respect the rules of the country in which you are, and be courteous, and don't go killing people.